gonna drop on these people and it's gonna be so good. They have no idea that I'm coming. All right, come on, come on, come on. Just get into this house. What? No, okay, hold on. Um, I'm trying to play right now. What is happening? Why are there things that are floating around? <laughs> um, okay, I just did it. Oh, okay, no, stop. You're, you're messing me up. You're messing me up. Stop. Are you, okay. Evan, Lizzie, is this you guys? What are you doing? Wait, this is fine. I just need to keep playing. Come on, come on. Oh, stop. You're blocking me. You're blocking me. Okay, still got my kill. That's all that really matters. Okay, are you... <laughs> Look, are, are you serious? You're just putting things in front of the TV? Now, look, stop. I'm trying to play Fortnite. I'm doing really, really good this round, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get this. Yes, okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. What? What is going on? What? Lizzie, Evan, who is this? Or surely this is one of you guys, right? This isn't a different ghost from when. Hey. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. What do you mean you didn't mean to scare me? You were making things float around the house when I was playing Fortnite. Well, yeah, you get so attached to Fortnite. If I was just to appear, you wouldn't have paid attention. <sighs> Yes, you make a good point, but I was in the middle of a round, so... Yeah, but Gregory, this is really important. Okay, um, what what is it? What's going on? Well, I've been thinking a lot lately ever since, well, you ended up finding my brother, and I've been talking to Lizzie, and she's kind of indecisive still, but I think I've decided I, I want to see Michael. Wait, 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 you, you want to see... Your your brother. Yeah, I... Michael. I think we have a lot of stuff to talk about, and I think it'll bring me a lot of closure. Um, look, Evan, I agree. I think that there is a lot that you guys probably need to talk about, but I really don't know if this is a great idea. I mean, you know everything that happened with you and him, right? Yeah, I know everything that happened. I I lived it, Gregory. But if I talk to him and we can talk things out, I think that'll help me a lot. It, it might help us both move on. And plus, you know wherever he is, and, and if I can talk to him, I can see if it'll be good for Lizzie to talk to him too, because I think she wants to. I just think she's scared because of how he's been in the past. Look, Evan, I gotta be honest, I kind of agree with Lizzie here. I really just don't know if this is a good idea to talk to him. You guys have a really insane past behind you, and he's kind of up to some things lately, and Roxanne and I are still trying to get to the bottom of everything. We don't really know what's happening. We don't know if he's evil, if he's good. What's going on? We just found some secret laboratory, and he had this monster down there, and it was, like, cemented to the floor, and it was, like, in agony, and we had to put it out of its misery. It was a whole thing. That sounds awful, Gregory. I'm sorry that you had to see that, but he's still my brother, despite of whatever happened in the past, and I... I mean, I'm already dead. It's it's not like he could do a lot to me now, right? I guess it's just I worry about maybe straining your relationship even more because you're dead. You do realize whether he's a good person or not. I mean, having to face the brother that you kind of got murdered a really long time ago, I feel like would be a lot for anyone. What do you think he's going to think? He probably doesn't even know that you're still around. I don't know, Gregory, but I have to find out. And I think it would be a lot easier of a blow if you were able to go with me and just prove that he's not crazy, I guess. But if you don't want to, I I understand. I, I don't want to put you in danger or anything, because like you said, we, we don't know if he's dangerous. But I have to do this with or without you. Wait, no, Evan, you... You can't go without me. <sighs> oh, this is such a bad idea. And I just had this whole conversation with Roxanne about not sneaking out and doing things without her. This is one of those things that I shouldn't be doing. Well, Roxanne's not here and I'm not gonna tell her. Right, but what if something happens and then we have to tell her or she finds out from the police or something later? <sighs> you know what? <sighs> it's fine. I've Really? I've done worse things in the past than this and maybe you do make a good point. 
maybe if you and Michael talked, maybe it would even, if he is evil, put some sense into his head, really, you know, ground him a little bit, make him understand that he still does have family, whether he wants to or not. I know he hates your dad, but what if he knew that his little brother and sister were still around? Exactly. I think it'll be good for him, and even if it's not, at least Lizzie and I can get some sort of closure. I agree. So, you'll come? Yeah, let's just... Let's get this over with before Roxanne even gets the chance to find out. Great. Alright, here we are at Michael's apartment. I, I hope he's not gonna be mad that we just walked in. I mean, I mean, he's the one who had the door unlocked, so... Yeah, he's probably gonna be pretty mad that we're here, Evan. I mean, this was kind of one of the things that I was worried about, I gotta be honest with you. Well, but I'm worried about it too, but I have to do this, right? Yeah, no, this is... It's gonna be good. Um, you're good to have this conversation, right? I I think so. I I guess it'll be different when he actually comes out. Uh, what if he's not home? Uh, maybe we should just go back to your house, Gregory. No, and, Evan, uh, we're uh, already here, and I guess there is a possibility that he's not home. But uh, look, uh, hello. Uh, hey. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea, Gregory. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't think I can do there. this. Wait, what do you mean you don't think you can do this? Wait, Evan, what are you doing? Uh, Evan, no, Evan, no! Uh, are you kidding me? Evan, where did you go? No, you're supposed to be here for this hey, conversation. Hey, this is supposed no. to... Gregory! Oh, why are you here? Why do you keep um, breaking into all my stuff? Okay, no, I, look, I, I understand how this probably looks right now, and I swear I wasn't meaning to just... Well, I guess I did mean That's to... It. Where's my phone? I need to call the cops. No, 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 Michael, Michael, please, just listen to me, okay? Look... I understand that you're probably really mad at me for being here and also... I think I have a lot of reasons to be mad. Yeah, no, you definitely have a ton of reasons to be mad, but, um, look, I'm actually here, um, on the request of someone that wanted to have a conversation with you and, um, um, Evan, where did you go? Uh, look. Oh, yeah? Where? I, all I see is you. I don't see anyone else. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are... Evan, we came here to have a conversation with Michael. Right, where's, where's my phone? No, 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 no. Don't get your phone. Don't call anyone, please. Look, I'm here with your brother, Evan. He he wants to have a conversation with you. He wants to make amends and hopefully have a relationship with you again. Gregory, you have been trespassing into everything that I do. And now you're talking about my brother who's dead? Look. Seriously? No, I know how it sounds. I, I really do, but I swear he, he's I'm here. I'm getting sick and tired of these games. It's, it's not a game, Michael. Evan, please, you gotta come out. This is... You're making me look crazy right now. I, I swear I'm not crazy. you I'm, are. No, 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 no. Evan, look. He really wanted to talk to you because he wanted things to be better between you guys. He, he doesn't want to have this weird, strained relationship. And now that he knows that you're back and... You know, you're in town and everything. He thought it would be. Oh God, first you, stupid clown. Ah, look, <sighs> my brother died. He is dead. He is not here. So knock it off with this stupid prank, and get out of my house. No, I, I swear, Michael, this, this isn't a prank. I just, Evan, please, where are you? This is this, Michael. Evan. There he is. I... I'm sorry I didn't come out before. I... I was nervous to see you again. Gregory, this is some sick prank you've got going on right now. What? No, 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 Michael, this... This isn't a prank. I, I swear I would never do something like that to, to anyone. Look, I know how this seems. That's Evan. I... That's, that's your brother. I promise it's me, Michael. I don't really have an understanding for why I could still be here, but I can. And Gregory's been a friend of mine for a really long time, so please don't be mad at him or call the cops on him or whatever. If, if you want to, uh, we can both go, but I just, I really felt like I needed to come see you after everything. <sighs>
How? <sighs> you... You died. Yeah. Um, I... I did. I don't know how you feel about everything, but I just wanted you to know that I forgive you for what happened back then. You know that wasn't what we planned when we put, I know. I, put you there. I, you were just being a, a big brother and trying to do a prank and scare me and I I get it and I don't think you did it on purpose and I, I honestly never thought that you did it on purpose it was just really unfortunate how it happened yes our prank got you killed that's <sighs> yeah but I don't want you to have to live with that guilt and that regret I want you to be able to move on and live the rest of your life and not worry about me or even Lizzie and I know you have motives right now and I'm not going to convince you to stop doing whatever you're doing because I know how you feel about dad and I know why you feel that way about dad I, he is kind of an evil psychopath child he's murderer, a murderer but i i know but he still cares about you even me and lizzie if even if he didn't want to see us which i kind of understand because you didn't even believe that we were still here which i get you believe now right <sighs> yeah yes i do been enough supernatural stuff happening that this doesn't seem like it would be out of the ordinary now, does it? No, not really. I just uh, hope you see that this isn't some kind of prank. <laughs> well, Look, I can definitely see it's not. Evan really wanted to talk to you, and he thought bringing me was a good idea because at least maybe if I told you that it was real, then... It would make you believe, so... It looks like it's... Working, huh? I just didn't want you to feel crazy. And having another human that's alive would... Help, I think. Uh, I... I'm glad I got to talk to you, Michael. So, then where's Lizzie? I... I wanted to come and just kind of see how everything was before you talked to Lizzie. I... I didn't know how you were going to react, but she's with Circus Baby a lot, and they've gotten really close throughout the past few months. I, Circus Baby, I, I know she's an animatronic, but at the same time, she's kind of like a big sister, so... Um, if you want to talk to Lizzie, you, you probably should. I, that would be probably where you want to go. I'm sure she'd really love talking to her big brother. Especially after uh, she tried to talk to dad and she was kind of heartbroken because he, he couldn't see her and didn't want to believe that she was really there. So I think talking to a living family member and actually getting a good response would be really good for her. Well, I'll see what I can do. I guess we should get going, but thanks for talking, Michael. Anytime, Evan. Anytime. And, um, look, um, you can't really put the things that have happened between us now behind us, but I'm glad we were able to at least, you know, make this happen. And I hope you can see that my intentions are coming from a good place. Mm. All right. You ready, Evan? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm ready. So, um, maybe you should lock your door. Okay, bye. <laughs> maybe you should stop breaking into people's things. All right. See, that actually wasn't so bad, Gregory. <laughs> yeah, it actually went better than I thought it would. It was a little rough 
at the beginning, considering you got a little nervous, but, um... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I I guess I wasn't as ready to see him again as I thought, but, I mean, it ended better than I thought it would. Do, do you really think he's going to go talk to Lizzie? I hope so. I'm, I'm not really too sure. I mean, you said Lizzie wanted to talk to him, so maybe that'll also be a good thing. I really wasn't sure how a conversation with you two would end out, but it was pretty good, and, I mean, him and Lizzie were probably on even better terms, so... Yeah. I mean, she didn't get eaten by an animatronic that he shoved her uh, Yeah, into. we don't need to relive the details, but I, I'm glad it worked out. And I'm glad nothing bad happened, and I'm even glad that uh, Roxanne doesn't have to know about it, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think Unless, this is gonna be great. You, what? I mean, I've overheard some of your conversations with Roxanne lately. Maybe if you just tell her what happened, she'll understand. Oh, um, maybe. Uh, that it's actually up to you. But this is a horrible idea. I mean, I've kind of talked to her a little bit more about you and Lizzie lately, and now that. I'm friends with Cassie and everything, and I actually have a real friend who's not a ghost. She actually has, you know, better feelings about me being friends with you and Lizzie. Yeah. I, I'm sure she'll still be a little upset that you went to a psychotic guy's house who's arguably also kind of a murderer, but not exactly. But I think she'll appreciate if you tell her. Yeah. No, you're right. You know what? I think I am going to tell her, and this will be the start again of me being able to talk to her about this sort of stuff, and her being able to go on these adventures with me, and be involved in stuff like this again, and hopefully it can just be a good outcome, and she can come along on everything, and I don't have to worry about just keeping secrets anymore. Exactly. Now, uh, I need to get out of here. I, I think I'm going to go talk to Lizzie about everything that happened, but thanks again, Gregory, for coming with me. Yeah, of course. All right, I I guess you can go back to playing Fortnite now. I'll I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> see you, Evan. I'm really glad that went well. Oh, all these stupid things are still here. Thanks, Evan. <laughs> Why is somebody knocking on the door at 6.05 in the morning? Gregory and Evan came over. Evan? What? Do not hurt her. I could care less. What is he doing here? He wanted to come and see you. We didn't really get along that well back in the day. 